Assistant Attorney Noel Flasterstein, who has also worked with the NRA as a big gun supporter, and Art Hayhoe with the Florida Coalition to Stop Gun Violence. Gentlemen, thank you for stopping by. Art, let me start with you. What do you think is wrong with this proposal right now in Florida? Well, legality is not the issue. It's, it's, it's certainly legal. It's what people want. Do people want people running around with guns in the open and, and saying, look at me, I'm really something special. Uh, you know, right in your face. I don't think the public wants that. Now, in other states, there are 43 states that have this law. Are they doing that now? Are they running around saying, look at me, or not? Some of them do. I mean, uh, I've heard stories where people come into Starbucks carrying guns and just irritates the people in there to no end. We don't need that. Okay. Uh, Noel, 43 states do have similar laws on the books. Does this pass constitutional muster, in your opinion? Without a doubt, I think the, uh, the bill being proposed uh, uh, would pass constitutional muster. But even further, I don't think the states, uh, any state, whether they allow open carry or do not allow, uh, I don't think they really have the right to be regulating that because I think the Second Amendment clearly establishes that every citizen of the United States, no matter what state they're in, does have a right to keep and bear arms, whether well, open or concealed. Then why isn't that law challenged? Um, I think probably that could possibly happen in the near future, but I think what we look is we look at the realities of the situation. I think when you have an organization such as the one that Mr. Hayhoe comes from, uh, organizations such as the NRA, they'll kind of, you know, go back and forth, trade and give up and take in order to kind of get what they want. Mm -hmm. All right, let's talk about this. The argument from supporters is that if more people had guns, let's say at Virginia Tech or even the situation in, in Tucson, Arizona, that those people could have used those guns to prevent violence. Does that, does that hold water? That's what they always say, and I don't know of any uh, empirical evidence that proves it. It's like concealed carry. There's no evidence that concealed carry reduces crime. None. Zero. Zip. And I, uh, so what's your response to that? Well, he's totally wrong. Uh, John Lott, uh, Jr., who's wrote a book, uh, More Guns, Less Crime, has assembled uh, data uh, taken from various agencies, from the states themselves, from the FBI, that clearly show states that have least restrictive or less restrictive gun laws have a lower crime rate. For example, let's look at Utah, which is uh, a state like Florida, very permissive in the uh, public being able to own firearms. They have one of the lowest murder rates. Now let's look at California, which has probably the most restrictive gun laws in the, uh, in yeah, the, but, in the but country. But people are going to argue Utah is mostly rural. And California and Florida, we have a lot of big cities, and big cities tend to have more crime uh, done with handguns than in these other rural areas, right but or not? This data is taken per capita, so it's not just a, you know, let's look at it uh, individually in that sense. Let's look at, for the number of people, the murder rate has it relates to the population, and that's what you, here in Florida, before concealed carry in 2005, we became a, what they call a shell issue state, right, yeah. uh, we had the second highest murder rate. Mm -hmm. our, our murder rate has significantly dropped. If we look at uh, the recent Supreme Court case of D.C. versus Heller, in that case, that yeah. the Supreme Court overturned a gun ban that D.C. had in place, okay. their, murder drop, uh, their murder rate dropped 30 36%. Okay, Art is shaking his head. Uh, you don't believe this. That must be why Florida is one of a half a dozen states with the highest rates of violent crime every year. There's also the argument that some people say that if you had open carry laws that everybody would have guns, that means the bad guys could just come up and take the guns away from the people. Yes? No? <laughs> it's a strange argument, you know. Uh, you know, more guns make you safer. Look what's happened in, in the last 50 years as we've gone through up to hundreds of thousands of millions of millions of millions of, millions of guns. Did crime go down? Crime went up. And we apparently have more murders than almost any other civilized nation in the country. But how do you get people to separate this issue from the Second Amendment? Because the Second Amendment gets held up it's, so strongly that people don't under, get beyond that. Hey, the, the Second Amendment is a federal law. It does not apply to the states. The states can control guns any way they want, and they always have, and they probably always will. Where do you think the public stands on this? Well, I think they're, I think they're concerned about crime and gun safety. And, and, you know, they want to have a gun to defend themselves, fine, go buy one. But let's, let's, let's have some responsibility here. Uh, you can go buy a gun, and you want a handgun in Canada? I'll tell you what you have to do to, to own that handgun. And the gun and the person has to be registered. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine something like that happening here?
The, the uh, last argument, Noel, I'm going to give you the final word on this, is that basically we don't want Florida to become the wild, wild west. To be honest with you, I don't want to be sitting in my lunchroom and have somebody showing me what kind of, he's got a new Glock 9 in his hands. Exactly. You know, first of all, the, the uh, characterization of the wild, wild west is incorrect in and of itself. Um, the, uh, I was actually watching a program on the History Channel, and they do mm -hmm. great shows, and one of the things they were talking about was cowboy fatalities from shootouts in the wild, wild west, in the west encompassing California, yeah. New Mexico, Texas, quite a large area. Sure. The average mortality from a gunfight was one a month. Uh, the thing is, when we have an armed society, we have a more polite society. If I'm a would-be criminal, and I'm about to approach a Starbucks, and I see everybody's armed, that's not the place I'm going to rob. I think... First of all, criminals don't carry their guns out in the open. Right, they right. carry them concealed. FBI statistics back that and support that. Mr. Hayho is wrong. There is data that shows more guns, less crime. Mexico, Brazil, okay. very right. restrictive gun laws, high, terrible murder rate. You know, I don't think we're going to solve this issue today. I, I thought think we so. were. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you for stopping by, and we'll continue to follow this subject with great interest. Thank you. Thank you.